Hi, hi. So in this video, I want to show a little tip how to edit or fix geometry non-destructively. And this is achieved with um, transfer vertex order. So if you don't know, each vertex has its own ID and it's quite important, it's actually crucial for doing shape keys and or transferring data like UVs. Uh, but it's quite easy to mess them up, especially if you work non-symmetrical like this guy here. So you can see lips, the nose, the ears, he's overall not symmetrical. And in order to fix it or to make him symmetrical for easier work on him, um, we can use a duplicate of him and transfer the vertex order to a duplicate and then to a shape key. I am using this add-on which is awesome. Um, it's for free. Feel free to leave a pound or two or ten. <laughs> um, it's definitely worth it's definitely worth it. It's it's a great great add-on. So I already have it installed and let's say we want to make this head symmetrical. We have like an internal blender option, which has here yeah, symmetrize, but it's, first of all, cuts in half and merges the vertices where it needs to. Also, it messes the UVs up. Uh, you can see here, let me go to the other one. So if you undo these are the original UVs. And if you metrize, it messes them up. There is also like a snap to symmetry where you can decide from which axis. But here as well, it's having a hard time to find symmetry. So can't really recommend it as such. Better solution is you duplicate the mesh and you just hide the center line, lead one half of this object, and just do a new mirror on it. Let's to it. Zero. Oops. Zero. Get a bit of an overlap here, which will mess up the mirror. So, a bit to the right. Again, scan like zero. So, we have a gap between the center line. Now, if we apply a mirror modifier, say clipping is obviously symmetrical. Um, let's apply that. However, here we got the same issue um, where stuff like UVs or vertex groups or anything you can imagine, it gets mirrored to the other side. It's basically exactly the same on the other side, which you might not want because you may painted vertex groups and do a, have like several UVs, which you want to keep. So what you could do is have now the mirrored version and the original version. If you want to do a blend shape or a shape key on this, it will not work because by deleting half and doing a new mirror modifier, you completely change the vertex order. Let's delete that. So what we're gonna do is we select the original guy and we say, by the way, the add-on lives in the tools section in the sidebar. So we select two faces, say copy word ID, on the mirror version, we select the same two faces and say paste vertex ID. So now they're having the same vertex order. We now do a shape key over that. 
we have a symmetric division. And the advantage of having a symmetric version is kind of obvious. You can paint textures symmetrically. You can sculpt symmetrically. Um, you can do UVs which are symmetrical. Because if I do on the asymmetrical version, let me get rid of this one, a, let's say I just want to have the face. And I do unwrap. So it seems pretty symmetrical, but it is not. As you can see, it resembles the mesh because the mesh is not symmetrical here. However, if we do a um, to be on the symmetrical version, I believe you have to make it your base. Let's call this base and let's call this asymmetry. Symmetry. So now the base is symmetrical and we got a blend shape which, base, which makes it asymmetrical. So if we do the UV on the symmetrical version. We have symmetrized UVs, which are exactly symmetrical. You might want to place them maybe in center. Three is point five. point five. Pin. Wrap again. Now we got a perfectly symmetrical V. This is one scenario, um, but it's really useful because on a geometry with the same UATX order, you create a common language to talk to each other and it's easier to transfer data over. Again, like UVs, for example, or shape keys. Another example would be um, to fix geometry. For example, um, we have a very thin sheet. So you would probably do a base model and put a solidify on it, modify on it, and you can keep working on the base model and the thickness always stays the same. So you can move it around, it always has the same thickness. However, there might be situations where you need to apply the solidify, unfortunately. In this example here, I applied a bevel and the solidify and a subsurface, uh, a subdivision surfaces. Now, if I want to make adjustments to this, I can have a really hard time to keep a uniform thickness to it which let's say you have subsurface scatter, you will see when the mesh is thinner on some parts than other parts, because the thinner it is, the stronger the subsurface scatter becomes. So if you want to modify this geometry now, let's say you select this word, you want a bit of like a, a bend here. Um, you take this over, all seems fine to a certain point, but at some point you're going to mess up the geometry, the thickness, where it's not uniform anymore. Also, it's a lot harder to handle when it's double-sided. Maybe the idea could be to use the original base mesh as a deformer. So we try this the original base mesh, which is still thin. So we take our in sheet which has everything applied and do a surface deform and pick the base mesh or the the low poly mesh and say bind so now it's a lot easier to do modifications however if it's close together it won't necessarily work because the search radius is too far you're gonna you're gonna struggle as well 
the best method in my opinion is just rebuild it um, you have this one where everything is applied you duplicate it here and let's get rid of the double-sided delete these vertices or these loops delete the interfaces now we get a single-sided sheet again and we can play around the modifications as we desire so like here and now we want to transfer this shape over there so what you can do you basically rebuild to the state you give it a solidify thicker add a solidify oops there is a shape add a solidify so you got the thickness applied again however on the original one we had original loops in here so you can see this one has 14,530 vertices this one has 13,000 534. We need these extra three loops. So we just add them. Two, three. Now we have 14,530, 14,530. Again, to bring over this now is a new shape. We gonna have the same issue where everything gets messed up. So we transfer over the six IDs. Select, you can select both meshes at the same time. Go in phase mode, copy this one, and we have to select the exact same faces on the other one and say paste. Now I can take it on the shape keys and I have it applied and due to the solidify which was after modifications it has a uniform thickness again this is especially useful when you do like say um, clothes which you need some thickness to it and you want to modify and once the thickness is applied to solidify it's going to be really hard to sculpt on top and keeping uniform thickness that's really it. Um, I want to share this with you because I haven't seen anywhere online really. And definitely check out his Gumroad. Uh, he got lots and lots of really useful add-ons, um, which yeah, I just highly recommend to, to check through. Some maybe are a bit pricey, like £22, dollars. Um, this one comes for free. Again, maybe leave him a tip. Okay, um, have a lovely day and see you next time. Bye.